Hello everybody, it is Adam from SoGo Survey, and today we're here to talk about the detractor opportunity. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Every business has its detractors. While you can't demand that they change their minds, you can change the way you approach them in order to create a new perspective. Detractors are people who didn't just have a negative experience, but those who actively say negative things about your business. In terms of net promoter score calculation, detractors are the ones hurting your score. These days, bad news travels really fast. Plus, it takes 40 positive reviews to undo the damage of a single negative review. That's why it's important to pay attention to your detractors. While detractors can make your life difficult, these are also the people who have the potential of becoming your brand champions. Brand champions help you leverage the power of word of mouth and elevate brand value. Here's what you need to do when it comes to approaching your detractors. Listen to what they have to say, show empathy, be accountable, deliver on your promises, and follow up after resolution. Listen to what they have to say. People want to be heard, especially when they are upset, and this is exactly what your detractors are feeling. Pay attention to feedback surveys, keep an eye on third-party review sites, and enlist social listening to hear what your customers have to say online. Detractors are the people giving you the most valuable insights into your customer journey. While 91% of customers who have had bad experiences simply leave without complaining, it's the detractors who identify pain points. They help you identify red flags early on, empowering you to upgrade customer experience. If you want to change their perspective, the very first step is to listen to their concerns and complaints to understand where they come from. Show empathy. Perhaps the complaint sounds common or unimportant or the issue is already being worked on and you've heard it all before. But here's the thing. This is still a first for your customer. Be empathetic and show that you care. Tell them the actions you're planning to take and make it a point to not cause further stress. The more transparent and genuine the approach, the more likely you are to defuse the situation. Be accountable. The worst thing a business can do is shirk responsibility. You might not always have the right answer, but taking ownership for concerns might just do the trick. Take charge, apologize, and communicate what you're doing to rectify the error. By understanding that the situation isn't ideal, you're showing your customers that their experiences are valid and you hear their concerns. This is one of the easiest ways to show detractors that despite their negative experiences, you're willing to hear them out and work towards a solution. Deliver on your promises. It's essential to create a business your customers can rely upon. Show detractors that despite the negative experience they've had, they can count on you to make things right and follow through. If you need to adjust your timeline or some other specifics, communicate clearly to avoid disappointing them again or increasing their frustration. Follow up after resolution. You've heard your customers, you've made the change, and now it's time to show them that you care. Send out a feedback survey telling them that changes have been made, seek additional feedback, and ask where you can improve. Businesses that go above and beyond to make amends and ensure a great experience are businesses customers rely upon. It's the same reason Amazon is so popular. Customers know that incorrect or wrong orders will be immediately rectified and they understand that the company has their back. Detractors are people too. Detractors are customers who just want to be heard. They want to give your business one last chance to rectify a wrong and win their trust, and it's an opportunity you don't want to miss. With the right steps and a clear commitment to closing the loop, your detractors can become your biggest brand champions. After all, while some loyal customers have only had good experiences, your detractors have seen how you take efforts to correct yourself and how well your customers are prioritized, and that's why they know you've got their back. Winning a customer's trust is no easy feat, so when it comes to the biggest brand critics, it's time to give them some attention to understand the cause of their frustration. What are your go-to strategies to respond to detractors? If you want to learn more, we have the full blog on our website, or you can watch some more of our YouTube videos or tune in to some of our podcasts. You can follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode, and I hope you have a wonderful day.